फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड पुट योर फोन असाइड फॉर दिस टू मंथ बिकॉज क्लास ट्वेल्व बोर्ड आर जस्ट फ्यू डेज अवे इफ यू हैव क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो दीज आर द्वेश्चन दट माइट बी देर इन योर ब्रेन इज इट रियली पॉसिबल टू सिक्योर नाइनटी परसेंट अब इन ईच एंड एवरी सब्जेक्ट इन सीबीएसई बोर्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ऑल्सो शेयर हाउ एक्सैक्टली यू शुड प्लान योर फेब्रुवरी मंथ बिफोर एग्जामिनेशन हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर द डेज बिटवीन योर एग्जामिनेशन एंड सब्जेक्ट वाइज स्ट्रैटेजी एज वेल सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो अंटिल द वेरी एंड As your board exam starts from February 21st, what should be the entire strategy? Everything will be discussed in this video from Pradeep Singh, who have scored 96.6 percentage in his CBSE boards 2024. Well, some students have a habit of asking friends, "How much have you done? How much have you done?" And you ask your friend, he, uh, he will say, "I have done five chapters." You will get panic that I am not studying anything and uh, I'm not doing anything. And before we get into this video, if you are really serious, then please do like this video. share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel and comment down in the comment section that we will rock cbse 2025 and with that let's switch our cameras to pradeep singh hi pradeep hello ayya now our viewers so basically our juniors are having their board examinations in very few days so now they have finished their jee mains examinations some of them are worried and some of them are in tensed situation and they are really confused for the strategy that they have to follow for the cbse boards so if you can start with your experiences your failures and uh, so it would be really helpful for them so over to you nothing is impossible you can easily score 90% plus marks in boards but i know your situation most of you would have scored bad in je exams but i also scored bad in je exams my first time i was only able to bag nearly 85 percentile but i switched my focus from je to boards if you will not switch your focus then the students who will switch it will get ahead of you and you will remain with bad scores in the board exams also so switch your focus from the je exam to board exams and after the boards are ended you can easily switch back from boards to je perspective correct because for the je examinations they have another attempt but for the board examinations you guys don't have another attempt so please don't focus on how your first attempt of je mains went and now focus on cbse board strategy that we will be sharing in this video so pradeep without any further ado let's start with their overall strategy because if we see they have very few days now what are the things that they have to follow on overall basis of uh, cbse board examinations you have to do three things in the last few days that is revision revision and revision because revision is the only key which will help you to achieve 90 plus percentage marks in your board examination so let's start with overall strategy uh, first of all you are nearly left with 20 days only so you should plan your each and every day for example if you are weak in particular subject then give more time to that subject and plan your every day according to your needs if you are weak in physics so give little uh, more time to physics than to chemistry maths english and your favorite subject whatever it is and you should also focus on solving sample question papers and previous year question papers as they will enhance your marks and will also help you to solve the questions easily and in lesser time in the examination as i can see your date sheet which is attached here on the side so now let's move to some of your individual subject strategies according to your date sheet correct so now what we will be discussing is as per your date sheet we will be giving subject wise strategies pradeep will be sharing in depth what you have to do in physics what you have to do in chemistry on what days you have to prepare on what subject and everything will be clearly mentioned by pradeep so make sure that you are noting everything down that pradeep is sharing now so pradeep over to you for the overall strategy so as we can see the first paper is of physics on the 21st feb so from 1st february to 14th february first you should revise each and every formulas and the concepts of different subjects and then you should solve sample papers and previous year question papers of that subject because solving them will enhance your marks and the first paper starts from 21st feb so you should be revising physics from 15th of feb to the 20th of feb because in between these days you should be revising first of all the derivations then the numericals and then the conceptual questions and you should practice more and more numericals in this in this period because numericals come sometimes some prizes of difficult questions also so more the numericals you will solve the easier will be for you to solve the numericals in the examination and if you are left with 2 to 3 days then you should solve the previous year question papers of the last 3 years and some sample papers which are provided by the cbsc cbsc board and then the second paper is on 27th of february which is of chemistry as you have already revised the concepts of the chemistry in the initial 1 to 14th of feb then you should be easily able to revise each and every concept between 2 to 3 days only and the remaining 2 to 3 days you can uh, try solving the previous year question papers of the last 3 years 
and then practice the CBSE practice sheets and the practice paper which are provided for them. And one more add-on here. If you want to practice the case studies uh, for the different subjects, then there is a link provided by the CBSE board. Uh, that is the CBSE case studies which are very important as most of the case studies which come in the examination of all the subjects is very much similar with those case studies. And the next paper is of mathematics on the 8th of March. So you have a very much time between the chemistry paper and the math paper which are nearly about 8 days if you calculate. So you can easily practice all the questions that you have done. So you should be easily able to remember the formulas and in between these 8 days you should uh, try solving the NCRT book. Uh, I remember when I gave my final exam of the mathematics uh, on the day when the examination previous examination ended I came to home I relaxed for two to three hours and then I moved to solve the NCRT in uh, three to four days you will be easily solved uh, able to solve all the entire NCRT because it will enhance your uh, basics and after that you should move to some complex problems like uh, application of derivative is very must chapter as it will comprise nearly what 10 to 12 marks of the paper one case study is granted from it uh, two can also come so we can also say that the chapters like application of integration is also important because one question will definitely come from it and calculus is very important because it comprises nearly over 30 percent of the marks of the paper so for mathematics first of all you should solve the ncrt then move to some complex problems and in last two to three days you should solve the previous three years paper and move to the sample paper provided by the boards then there comes english on the 11th of march so for english you should read the entire chapters then you should uh, understand the different formats of the writing uh, writing section uh, and if you do so then you will be easily able to score nearly 60 to 70 marks because if you read the chapter you will be able to understand the story in it and what is the theme and the summary of the chapter then you will be easily able to answer all the questions which are asked in the paper and the finally come your fifth subject which depends on you i have information technology and a fifth subject from 11th to 29th you have nearly 17 days so you can easily practice entire java fundamentals and all those things uh, if i was at your place then firstly a week i will relax and <laughs> roam here and there because i have 17 days for computer science uh, then i will start studying you have only main two chapters that is dbms and java if you revise them it will take nearly your three to four days only so revise them very properly because the questions will come like write the syntax for this question uh, they will say to you that there is a pattern of triangle using stars you have to write the syntax you have to write the syntax to print the prime numbers and all those different kinds of questions and there is a one question that will definitely come which is which is a trend of the last four to five years a sequel question which will comprise of the questions if you will be given a data then they will ask you for example a data is given they will ask to print all the values which have name equal to this and all so revise the sql syntax also and then this is was the overall strategy for the different subjects cool cool pradeep so now i just wanted to tell them one point that is whatever is mentioned in this video whatever subject wise strategy is mentioned in this video if you guys need in depth for example last moment tips for mathematics and last moment tips for physics because if you can see the physics paper is in 21st how you should prepare your last six days or last five days revision for physics if you need any specific video then please do comment in the comment section physics mathematics computer science or any subject we will be providing you with the entire video for the specific subject we have already made an entire strategy video for cbsc three months ago which will be linked in the description so if you can go watch it you will be finding some more insights from that video as well so last question pradeep that is regarding tips and the mistakes that students do in this last few days of their examination because you are their senior so you might have done some mistakes you might have done some mistakes because of which your marks might reduce or your friends might have done some mistakes because of which their marks might have reduced right so i want you to share those insights and experiences and failures with them so that they won't do these mistakes so over to you before starting tips and mistakes i know most of you might have watched a lot of videos before this video or might be watching some more videos of tips and tricks for the final examination and you will be panicked after watching a lot of videos like this because some will tell you to do this some will tell you to do this calm yourself down and start studying if your friend is studying more than you don't panic that he will be score more marks than you do not never ever focus on the other students if they are scoring more marks than you do not worry 
यू शुड ऑलवेज बी फोकसिंग ऑन योर मार्क्स एंड वॉट यू आर डूइंग सो काम योर सेल्फ डाउन एंड स्टार्ट रिवाइजिंग फॉर द डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट यू विल बी इजिली एबल टू स्कोर मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट मार्क्स इफ यू रिवाइज वेल एंड स्टडी वेल इन दिस वन वन टू टू मंथ्स पीरियड बिकॉज इफ यू गेट पैनिक यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू स्टडी वेल एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गोर गुड मार्क्स सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द डिफरेंट ट्रिप्स फॉर द फाइनल बोर्ड एग्जाम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल you should put your phone aside for these two months because phone is the one of the major distraction any person can have uh, if you put your phone aside you will be easily able to put all the distraction aside if i will watching reels all the day then i will get distracted easily so put your phone aside and the second tip is that you should focus on the basics while revising for different subjects for example if i start studying mathematics I am solving a JE level question directly without revising my basics. There is no use of this because if I do not know the basics of a thing, then I will not be able to solve that advanced question, and you will get panic then, because you will be thinking I am not able to solve this question. I have not done anything. So start from basics and then move to a higher level slowly and slowly. And also, I will suggest you to do not tally with your friends. For example, some students have a habit of asking friends, "How much have you done? How much have you done?" It will not only panic you; it will also worsen your condition. For example, if you have not uh, done two chapters and you ask your friend, he have, uh, he will say, "I have done five chapters." You will get panic that I am not studying anything and uh, I'm not doing anything. So do not do these kind of things in these two months, as they are very crucial for your board examinations. So now let move to the mistakes parts. there is a fam very famous quote most of you have heard that a successful person not only learn from his or her mistake he she also learn from others mistake so you should also learn from mistakes that i made or some of mistakes that i will be sharing my friend made uh, one of the major mistake which i made was neglecting english in the final board examination if i would have st studied english i would have scored some more percentage in the board examination so do not neglect english while studying for the final board examination study well so you can easily score more than 90% marks in the english as well for example i am solving a math question in the final board exam i am hurrying to write the answer do not hurry as it will lead to mistakes if i am solving math question i could make various calculation mistakes if i am solving chemistry question i could uh, have miss some of the words which were the most important words while writing the chemistry question for physics question numericals calculation mistakes so do not hurry while solving the questions the final board examination and be calm while solving them and other mistake is that sometimes students do not know the answer to particular question which leads to a tense situation then most of student forgot the answers of questions that they already know so calm yourself down if you do not know to answer to a question move ahead solve the uh, uh, remaining paper and then come back to that question at the end of the paper and the fourth tip is that if you are writing a uh, question in the paper and you your you become totally blank then put the paper aside take deep breath calm yourself and sit silently for 2 to 3 minutes you will be able easily able to solve the remaining questions after that so these were all the tips and mistakes if you are someone watching at this very end please make sure this is very crucial period again i'm saying we are making this videos such that you can gain experience as tips failures from your seniors and learn from their mistakes so if you like this video please make sure you like and share this video with your friends also subscribe to our channel so if you want to connect with prabdeep i will be linking his linkedin profile in the description below and if you are someone who are really passionate towards computer science then i would suggest you to check out scaler school of technology which will be also linked in the description with that thanks for watching until this very end and All the best. Check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone. I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I can truly be moody.